Okay, so I've done videos on my channel looking for Nintendo Switch games in Japan and New York City, but I haven't done it in Pennsylvania yet, which is where I live now. More specifically, in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And I couldn't have cooler people to go video game hunting with. Freaking Ethan Page and Charlie from AEW. This is the coolest and most random collaboration for my channel so far. It all came about because because I started watching Ethan's toy hunting videos and he went to a comic book store near us. So Kim and I were like, well, let's go to that store. And then we filmed ourselves at that store and put it on Twitter. And he replied and said, hey, we should go hunting sometime. And I said, yes, please. Okay, we're heading towards Philly kind of the outside of Philly to meet up with Ethan Page from AEW to do some toy hunting, comic book hunting, and then I think video game hunting, depending on time, because traffic has been backed up for miles because something is on fire and it's kind of crazy and we're driving right towards it. But it is kind of pretty because there's a sunset right next to it. So it's kind of like a half and half, but uh, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Oh my! <laughs> so Ethan Page is a professional wrestler from Canada currently signed to AEW. Really the only wrestling promotion that I watch now. And Charlie does a lot of behind the scenes stuff and security work. I've met him before at a couple of the shows and he's just the nicest guy. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I'll say this. Oh, I'm sorry. All this wrestling talk got me in the mood to listen to Wrestling For My Life. It's Shawn Michaels book and it's on Audible and you can listen to it now. In fact, this probably is a good point to talk about the sponsor of this video, Audible. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you're interested in. From best-selling audiobooks in every genre to exclusive Audible originals to popular podcasts and more. It's everything all in one place. Again, for you wrestling fans, Shawn Michaels, The Rock has a book. There's multiple AEW podcasts on here. Jim Ross even has a book I just found called Under the Black Hat and it's narrated by Jim Ross himself. And it's not just for wrestling fans. In the past, I recommended Reggie's book that he narrates himself called Disrupting the Game. Even my own podcast can be listened to on Audible. Audible has an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre, from bestsellers to new releases, celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and so much more. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog. That includes the latest bestsellers and releases. New members to Audible can try it for free for 30 days. Just visit audible.com forward slash beat-em-ups or text beat-em-ups to 500-500. Ethan. Hello. Charlie. Hello. Kim's behind the camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're going game hunting, video hunt. You already know, I've already set the whole thing up. It doesn't matter. I do like a- A professional intro? Like a, no, well, <laughs> yeah. no. Yes. I do like a thing at the start where I explain what's going on. You know, like a professional. No, I'm kidding. Also, I like that in this intro footage, the camera is only auto-focusing on Charlie's face. Thanks, Sony. And now there'll be some kind of fun montage. You want everyone to click with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is three, there a three, two, one. Two, one. So... My friend Shane Hagedorn set us up at Ontario Street Comics, which is where the movie Unbreakable and Glass were both filmed. We thought it's local. Wood was looking for something when we were coming to town and it ended up being a very memorable video for many, many reasons. This store is jam packed with stuff. It goes all the way to the back, like an airport hangar. It wraps around the other side. There's a whole back room with more vintage stuff. It's all comic books, toys, figures. It's really cool. Kim's definitely gonna get something. I feel like. You've been down here a while. I feel like you found something. I might have. What you get? I might have found like every Archie comic ever made, possibly. I don't know. Listen, I haven't even looked at a couple of these boxes. No, okay. I should probably stop. No, keep going. There's so much. There is. There's a ton. I'm getting carried away. That's the, hey, that's what this whole thing is about. <laughs> we got wrestling toys back here. For me, it's always dress shirt rock. Yeah. Dress shirt rock? Really? That's you, dress shirt rock. Got it. Yeah. Greatest wrestling aesthetic of all time. Just oh. a handsome man. 
<laughs> I gotta be honest, it was pretty surreal to be hanging out with a professional wrestler and having a conversation about The Rock. He does movies now, like, like a lot of movies. You probably remember him from Black Adam and Tooth Fairy. <laughs> it's too great. So I actually do collect comic books. I, I collect Walking Dead single issues. I have the compent- the comp- the comp- the the compent- the competent- the 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 big books. I collected the big books initially, but then they ended the series and I have all of that, but now they're redoing it all in color. So now I'm going back and collecting the single issues, as long as they have really cool cover art. And this one does. Oh no. You found something. I actually did. So Kim actually found this. <laughs> yeah? Because we're both really big Supernatural fans okay. and we love the car. Well, I guess love to hate it because it did get pretty bad on the back half of the 50 seasons they made. And we have an ongoing joke about one of us leaving the other one for Dean. But while we were gonna go see where she got that from. I actually found something I have been looking for. It's not super hard to find, I don't think. One of the few things I actually brought over from Australia was this. It's a piggy bank. I bought this guy back in Australia like 10 years ago. And they had a Michonne and I could never find it and I don't like ordering things online. I've That's actually been cool. looking for that. What do you call this? A, a grail? It's kind of a light grail. It's a grail adjacent because it's not something that's incredibly hard to find by any means. But it's also something I've never, personal. I've never seen in a store and it is personal. And you wanted so, it. And I wanted it. I wasn't kidding. I have been looking for this for a while. What I love so much about these is that they're the comic book versions of these characters. So Rick's like missing the hand. He's really freaking cool looking. Now I got the matching pair. Well, let's get away from this crummy old stinky one step away from a glorified library store and go to somewhere cool. Video games. I want to take these beautiful men to classic video game junkie. Funny enough, I was actually brought to this store by the game chasers when we visited Pennsylvania to go to a convention here. So it's really nice that now all these years later, I'm able to show some of my friends this really cool store. Also, watch the game chasers. Okay, it's my turn. Oh, oh. It's my <laughs> turn now. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Crappy old comic books, dusty old toys, yeah. they're out of the way. Yeah, right? You can't say that. I've already said it. Okay. You first. You Oh, coming camera in, camera. Oh, camera in. Classic oh, game okay. junkie, everybody. I thought I filmed from the window. So this store is really cool because it is a mix of a retro video game store, a current video game store, and then also just a really cool trinkets and toy store and a collectible store. I'm super pumped to go to this video game store. I'm big into Sega Genesis games, and I hope my wife doesn't hear me because she's downstairs, but I ended up picking something up huge for her Christmas present. So yeah, super pumped. What'd you find, buddy? Atari? Oh, Sega. Oh. Right. Right, oh, oh, I just want to lay across it all. <laughs> he was like a kid in a candy store. His eyes were so wide looking at everything. Oh Sega my Sega. God. You'll find something. And his desire to learn as much as he can about video games and consoles was just so heartwarming. Stick the 32X in it and it'll play 32X games that have more bits. Oh, okay. That's Master System. Okay. So that was that's... first. So that's like the NES. Oh, okay. This is like the Super Nintendo. Okay. I was trying to teach him about Genesis and Master System, and I think I got him all confused because I kept calling it Mega Drive because that's what it is in Australia. In Australia, it's called Mega Drive. Yes. Here, it's called Genesis. Yes. So Master System, yeah. Genesis. Stupid rust. Don't listen to the dumb Australian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, yeah. fine. Funny enough, the first thing I found was a toy. I found a scanner's toy. Alien monsters from a distant galaxy have landed on Earth and are hiding in real barcodes on real products everywhere. Scanner's time. Let's go get them. Scanners let you scan any barcode on real products and capture the monsters. Then battle them on your own or play head to head to win. It actually made going grocery shopping exciting. As soon as I got that toy, I was scanning every can of beans and spaghetti I could find. Also, I found this really crummy off-brand wrestling game toy. So of course I had to make one of the wrestling people buy it. <laughs> You stop shaking it. You're going to break it before you buy it. By the way, I'm just going to put this out there. All of these people we were hanging out with were just the nicest people you'll ever meet. It's funny, too, with, like, Ethan. His wrestling persona is literally all ego Ethan Page, and he's a jerk. I need my spotlight! But I couldn't meet someone with less of an ego in real life. And then Charlie is, as I said, very nice, but also just hilarious. All right, whatever. Switch games. Switch games. So this is what I'm after. I already have 
have most of it. <laughs> so the trick is to find something I don't have. Okay, so this is the switch stuff. Yep. Okay. Yep. This is kind of my thing. Okay. I want you to yep. pick me a Switch game to buy. To buy? Yeah. I played this mm -hmm. start to finish with my daughter. It's very fun. It is. Yeah, so you played it. Okay, so you yeah. have it. <laughs> All right. I do have it. What about Street Fighter? You have that? I have it, yeah. And that was in the first seven games on Switch. Yeah, Street Fighter, yeah. Do you take a console with you on the road? Like a Switch or anything like that? So, this is a true story. I started traveling with my Switch. I was rushing on a plane and I put my Switch in my pocket and I left 20 games in my case. I'm hating where this is going. I came back to the Detroit airport. I said, hey guys, I left the Switch here and I never got it back. Which ones did, were you playing that you lost? that you wanted to keep playing. Mortal Kombat 11, okay. Super Smash Brothers. A fan got me Pokemon Snap. Oh, Mario Kart 8. That was a big like family game. So when Ethan told me that he had lost all of his games, including Super Smash Brothers, and I can tell how much of a fighting game fan he is, I knew I was gonna uh, surprise him with something later. Okay, so which ones don't you own that are here? Honestly, I pretty much own everything. I mean, <laughs> it was a trick question, I guess. Was it? He set me up to fail. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that was a flex, which is fine. I'm all about flexing, just not like that. <laughs> So I probably should have looked over these games first because I have everything. We did find one game though. Uh, do they have Mortal Kombat 11? Because I could force you to buy that. You could. I don't think I have that actually. You don't. They do have Mortal Kombat if you miss Yeah, it. he's got to buy it. I didn't know they had it. There you go. There you go. Turns out Ethan's a really big fan of Mortal Kombat. I do enjoy Mortal Kombat games. I actually love Mortal Kombat games. I will send you footage at the end of this of my Mortal Kombat collection. I have an insane Mortal Kombat collection. I'll actually send you footage of my Sega Genesis collection to add to it. But um, yeah, Mortal Kombat's a big one for me. Big into collecting pieces from that and collecting games, which was kind of cool because now we have the Nintendo 64, which means I can get a bunch more games. Not the most exciting game for the video, but it's a little hard to buy a Switch game I don't have when I have literally everything. Jeez, that's a first world problem. What would you suggest for me to get as a Switch game knowing what I like? That's a lot of pressure. Do um, I have to pay you to recommend a game to me? Is that Yes. Me? No. Is the Mario Rabbids game over there? I played that. That, that was fun. You played Paper Mario? Yes, very fun. Good. You have, you've been playing good games. Is Donkey Kong? Oh yeah, that yeah, one was Donkey fun. Donkey Kong I have too. Did you ever play Zelda Breath of the Wild? Yes. Mario Odyssey? Yep. He actually has a lot of Switch games because I recommended at least 10 games and he said he either had them all, played them all, or lost them at some point at the airport. So he ended up settling on Link's Awakening. You ever play Link's Awakening? I'm fighting. No. That's a great Zelda game. Okay. It's very puzzly. I wouldn't necessarily say it's easier than Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is more like action adventure. This one's very like 2D, cutesy, puzzly. Okay. But it's a fantastic game. Okay. Hopefully he likes it. That up there. That Zelda Wii U. I've always wanted that. I really want this big shiny gold box. This is the Zelda Wind Waker Wii U. I've wanted this yeah. ever since it came out when I was in Australia. Wind Waker obviously being one of my favorite Zeldas. When this edition of the Wii U came out, I wanted it so bad. But I was broke and I already had a Wii U. This, fun fact, gave the Wii U a massive boost in sales. Like the spike was insane. Like it was a dead console. Then this limited edition made it skyrocket to an extent. It still failed as a console, but this was the biggest boost it got even out of any game releases. Also, he gave me a killer price. 250 unless the sticker is lower, I'll get it. That makes sense, right? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine, right? All of this we've been doing, this is all open to the public and you can go and explore all of this. You know where the public can't go? The basement. That's where I want to go. The owner of the store was nice enough to open this basement up for me. And I can't say thank you enough because this is something that not everyone gets to do. This is something very special that I only know about because of my friends that are friends with the owners. So everyone's plummaging back there right now. Uh, but I wanted to tell you guys that this is the basement at Classic Game Junkie. It's really freaking cool. They call it a graveyard. Well, they don't. I think people have coined it that. Well, a lot of them are kind of, mm, they piece things together and they make working ones and there's a ton of working ones in here. They just haven't tested them. But this is like GameCubes from there all the way to here. This is the most NESs I've ever seen in one place. There's literally at least like 300 NESs here from this wall all along the floor, all up there. I've never seen so many Dreamcasts in one place. These are all Super Nintendos. The top loader NES is so hard to find and there's just three chilling up here. There's literally every console ever released 
in this basement. And the best part was, we're allowed to buy anything down here. We just gotta find it. My wife wants a 64. Mm -hmm. And I, time is gonna fly. So I assume Christmas presents are the good thing to get now. Yeah, for sure. We've been waiting to get one for a while. So I think this is the time. By the way, I don't know if I said this yet, but I was in two of Ethan's videos about the comic book store and the video game store. And his videos are gonna be much longer than mine because he kept everything that happened in the video. So you can go and watch that. And then I found a Fortnite Switch. This is the last Nintendo Switch. That you don't have? That I don't have. I'm pretty sure anyway, but oh. it's, it's not in. After we were done rummaging around the basement and the store, Ethan wanted to do a final little video where we showed everything that we had found. As everyone can tell, my hands are very full. All right, what'd you get, Charlie? Oh, starting off hot. Blonde Man, the LCD game. Yep. WF, Wrestling Fight. Afternoon Tea with Kirby, that's for Jamie Hayter. Skull Monkeys with its lenticular cover on the PlayStation. If you are into claymation, this is an amazing game. Wizmaster, no, this is not so I can pass a drug test. This is so I can play <laughs> NES remotely. It's fantastic. It's my new Turbo Graphic 16 case that I can walk around in the airport with. What's going on over here? <laughs> I saw that smile on you. <laughs> We're just discussing the um, the travel case here for the Turbo Graphic 16. Mm -hmm. Now I look like a businessman. <laughs> Yeah, Walking yeah. Like, Everything about what I'm seeing right now so screams businessman. Business <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a Zelda Wind Waker Wii U. Also got a blind box. It's a little Pokemon one. We came here like two weeks ago and tried getting one of these. We wanted the Dragapult one. And we didn't get it. We got the worst one. We didn't get the worst one. So we're trying. We didn't. But but trying again. We'll see. Oh, you're trying again. I'm trying. We'll see They're very cute. And I bought Mortal Kombat 11, because yeah. you said I should, because I didn't have it in my collection. Enjoy it. And I also bought Smash, but I already have Smash. So why'd you buy it? Because you don't. You don't have to. Oh. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have told you that story. Wow. You said you lost oh, yours. Dude. And I just missed your birthday, apparently. Yeah. Mine's in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> I bought you a Nintendo 64! <laughs> Hearing how much he loves fighting games, I couldn't not put this one back in his collection. And also just to say thank you to him for hanging out with me and making these videos with me. Dude, thank you so much. No, you're welcome. Thank you for hanging out and having me be a part oh of Oh my gosh. Uh, you set it all up, so I appreciate it. Very, I very had cool. a lot of fun. Yeah, me too, man. Thank you. It was great to meet you, and you're a terrible influence. Because <laughs> we've got 89 Batman on Sega Genesis. We've got T2 on Genesis. Pocahontas on Genesis. Genesis. Didn't even know this was a game. Apparently it's very good. Kim said it's very good. Pinocchio on the Genesis. And this looks as mint as ever. And Barbie, supermodel. All right, and we got some Nintendo 64 games. Rampage, big Rampage fan. Mario Tennis, Warzone, and Mayhem, WCW. And a actual N64 system with the box. Again, I really can't stress enough how nice the people that work at this store is and how cool this store is. So if you're in PA or you ever visit classic video game junkie. Charlie knows a lot. Yeah. But they also downgraded the chip. It doesn't have native RGB. It sounds like um, this is not a good console. You're so not buying the two. This no. is your CD2. And then CD? your Sega Genesis Model 2 goes on top of that. Okay. Your CD1 actually is oh, like, that. like a see. VCR. Yes. We go underneath the larger, the yeah, much larger Sega Genesis so Model 1. Charlie's a nerd. Loves <laughs> telling me how much he knows too and calling me a bozo. I would never. That's not in my vocabulary. I don't say stuff like that. So yeah, it was a really nice day. I don't want to say that I was surprised at how well we all got along, but it was seriously like a bunch of friends hanging out that had known each other for years. I would say overall, I made a new friend. Would. Great dude. Thank you, by the way, everyone that's watching this. Appreciate you giving me the time of day and hopefully checking my stuff out too. But I learned a lot about video games and I learned that I really like Woodhawker. He's a good dude and I had a fantastic experience. So thanks. I really hope we can do this again soon, but I still feel like I need to do more video game hunting here in PA in Philadelphia. There's a ton more stores to go to. Thanks for watching the video. Like you, love you, bye. Don't be a bozo. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> See you next well, time, guys. Well, he said, guys. don't be a bozo. Yeah. yeah, but he said the word. He said he'd never say the word. He said the word.